well. And that's something we as a government will be supporting. Supplementary. Question number 12. Uh, Anahila Kongataha Sui Suiki. Associate Minister of Health. What recent reports has she received on Māori and Pacific adults' access to primary health care? Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Jenny Salisa. I've seen the first release of statistics from the 2016 to 2017 New Zealand Health Survey, which shows that the number of Māori adults who reported not visiting a GP due to cost in the previous year was estimated to be 110,000 and the number for Pacific adults was 42,000. This is not good enough, and we need to do better to reduce the cost barriers that our people are having, especially in terms of, of uh, early preventative healthcare services and treatment, so that they do not end up in emergency departments. Supplementary. How, the, how do these statistics on cost barriers to visiting a GP for Māori and Pacific adults compared to previous years? Mr Speaker, sadly, these reported numbers have remained stubbornly high, relatively unchanged since 2011 to 2012. Again, I want to emphasise that Māori adults were nearly 1.6 times more likely not to have visited their general practice due to cost than non-Māori in the last 12 months, and for Pacific, adults 1.1 times more likely not to have visited their GP due to cost. Supplementary. What are the government's plans to reduce the cost of primary care for Māori and Pacific adults? Mr Speaker, we are committed to reducing cost barriers for visiting general practitioners and we're planning to reduce the cost say of visiting a GP by $10 for New Zealanders. This will go through the normal budget process and we expect that Māori and Pacific will be able to access cheaper GP visits next year. This government is committed to ensuring more New Zealanders can access primary care. That concludes uh, oral questions. Um, I have received a letter from the Honourable Nikki Kay.